A girl named Tammy wakes up with an injury to her head while in an already sinking boat. She starts calling out for her fiancé, Richard, but he's nowhere to be found. She goes out of the cabin and realizes that the boat is in the middle of the ocean with no land in sight. As she continues to wonder where Richard is, she drags out the safety harness from inside the water and screams as she believes he is gone. Five months earlier, Tammy arrives in Tahiti, a large and beautiful island, and proceeds to have her papers checked by a customs agent at the border. Just as she answers that she doesn't know how long she'll be staying in the country, the man smiles and allows her to go in. She soon settles in the new country and starts working with a girl named Deb. She engages Tammy in a conversation to know more about her. Tammy is happy to talk about herself, and she says she's from San Diego, California, though she doesn't have any plans to go home anytime soon. As they continue talking, a boat arrives, and Richard is the owner. The ladies offer to help him tie his boat to the dock, and he agrees after which he tells them his name and asks for theirs. After the introductions, Richard can't seem to get his eyes off Tammy, who also looks at him and smiles. The next day, Tammy sees Richard cutting up the fish he wants to eat. She helps him get some ice to the table, which he appreciates. He then asks if she can join him for an early dinner, but she says she's a vegetarian and she only likes fish when they're alive. They both laugh about this, but as he really wants to spend some time with her, Richard says he can make a vegetarian version of the meal he's preparing. Tammy agrees, and later that day she joins Richard for dinner on his boat. While he's still preparing the meal, Tammy takes a look at the pictures on the wall inside the cabin. As it shows that Richard has traveled to many places, Tammy can't help but commend him. Shortly after, the food is ready and they both sit to eat. At the table, Tammy asks Richard about what it feels like when he's out sailing on his own. Richard jokes that it's always miserable and cold, but when Tammy says she really wants to know, Richard says he gets seasick, sleep-deprived, and sunburnt. He also tells her that after a few days, hallucinations also set in. Tammy then asks why he keeps doing it, even though he doesn't seem to like it. Richard says there's just a feeling that comes with sailing on his own, which makes him feel reborn, and because of that, he has never thought of quitting. Richard then asks her if she's also a sailor. She says she's not as good as he is, but she knows a few things about sailing. He asks if she'd like to take his boat on a spin, and she agrees. With this, they head out and enjoy a really interesting sailing trip. Soon after, Richard and Tammy get even closer as they go out for a swim, and when they return to his boat, he gives her a present. When she opens it, it turns out to be a dress, and she thanks him for it. The next day, Tammy puts on the dress, and Richard takes her to a restaurant. While they're there, Tammy starts talking about herself. She tells Richard about how her mother was not always around, and because of that, she couldn't try to run away from home even though she wanted to. She mentions that her father was also absent, and she was raised by her grandparents. She eventually left home after her graduation and has not gone back in five years. Richard enjoys it as she talks about her life, and she tells him that if she didn't leave home, she might have never met him. The next day, while Tammy and Richard are in the market, they meet two of Richard's friends, Peter and Christine. They invite Tammy and Richard to join them to have coffee, and there, Peter talks about having something he wants Richard to do for him. He says that he and Christine are going to London in a week's time for something important, and they've been looking for someone who can help them sail their boat back to California. As Richard looks stunned and doesn't know how to respond, Peter says he can even pay him a sum of $10,000 and one return ticket to help them do it. This offer is too good to decline, and since he has also been looking for a reason to sail to a new country with Tammy, Richard asks for more details. They tell him he'll be taking the boat to a place in San Diego, California, which also happens to be where Tammy is from. As Richard continues talking to the couple, Tammy doesn't look happy as she's not ready to go home yet. However, Richard doesn't know this, and he asks if Peter can give him an extra return ticket for Tammy. Soon after, Tammy finally tells Richard that she doesn't want to go home. She also says she doesn't mind staying back, so that she won't be stopping him from going on his adventures. Seeing how sad Tammy looks, Richard says he's no longer going. Tammy tells him not to do that because of her, but Richard says he's not going to leave her alone under any circumstance. Tammy looks happy as he says this, and then she seems to change her mind, asking Richard when they can go and check Peter's boat. That night, they go over to see the boat. As they talk with Peter, Richard asks why he and Christine have to rush to London. Peter says Christine's father is sick and they need to go and check up on him. He then tells Richard that he'd be a lifesaver for helping them. 
Not long after, they go inside to check the cabin and can't believe how beautiful it is. When Peter and Christine also leave them alone, so they can check around by themselves and feel at home, Richard tells Tammy that even though sailing to California is really far, the money they'd make will be enough to fund their dream to travel around the world together. The next day, Tammy writes to her mother to inform her that she's finally coming home. She explains that she got a job to sail to San Diego, and that's why she's headed home. In the letter, she also adds that she's coming with her new boyfriend, and she hopes her mother will be around to see him. She mentions that even though Richard is older, she thinks he's the one for her. Days later, they both embark on the journey to San Diego. Everything thing appears to be going fine, until they see a bird flying around and landing on the boat. They're shocked to see this, as they know they're far from land, and it's impossible for a bird to reach where they are. Richard decides to check the radio to see if he can get a clue of what's happening. As he turns on the radio, he hears an announcement calling for people to be aware of a hurricane nearby. Richard checks their coordinates and tells Tammy that if they keep going at their pace, the storm might have faded by the time they get to its present location. Tammy suggests that it might be better to alter their course and take a different route, and Richard agrees. He also tells her that they need to secure all their things to prevent anything from flying around when the storm hits. Back to the present, Tammy continues to try to get help, but all the devices in the boat are no longer working. As she starts to cry and get really frustrated, she sees Richard far away, hanging on to the dinghy from Peter's boat. She looks excited and tries to look for a way to make the boat faster so she can quickly save Richard. In the process, she falls into the water and struggles to get back to the boat because it's drifting really fast. She soon makes it back and tapes the side of the boat. She then goes into the cabin to pump out the water that has gotten in. After that, she proceeds to set the sails and jumps with excitement as it works. A while later, Tammy decides to check if Richard is still hanging on to the dinghy. She initially doesn't see anything, but after taking a deep breath, she eventually sees that he's still there. This gets her optimistic, and she jumps into the water and swims to save Richard. When she gets to him, she sees that he's still alive and then drags him back to the boat as he doesn't have the strength to move. They make it to the boat, and Tammy realizes that Richard has sustained a serious injury on his leg and his ribs have also broken. Seeing as he's also struggling to breathe, she tries to keep him calm and tells him everything will soon be okay. Soon after, Tammy helps Richard bandage his legs. Much later, she also starts checking their coordinates and sees that they're drifting. It also appears that they're really far away from a search area. With no flight paths and shipping lanes in sight, Tammy believes they'll definitely die out there. Richard, however, tells her they'll be fine and he's sure they can still make it. Tammy continues to check the numbers as well as how fast they're going. When she gives Richard the report, he tells her that they can still reach San Diego in 25 days, if nothing bad happens. However, Tammy thinks it will be much better for them to go to Hawaii. But Richard says it's going to be really risky, because if they miss Hawaii, the next stop is Japan, and since it will take longer to get there, they could die. Tammy also agrees with this, but she says she's optimistic about their chances of making it to Hawaii. The next day, Tammy is able to repair the water pumping machine. She also then packs up all the food they still have and shows it to Richard, after which they eat together. After five days of being adrift, Tammy checks their coordinates and realizes that they're slowly going off course and it will take longer to reach Hawaii. As Richard tries to understand what happened, Tammy decides to eat something. She takes out a can of food from the bag, but Richard tells her not to eat it because they now have to ration their food so that they'll have enough to last them until they reach Hawaii. However, Tammy doesn't listen and even shouts at Richard for telling her not to eat. Days later, Tammy finally finds a pack of sunscreen and applies it on her face and that of Richard after days of getting sunburnt. She also helps him clean his wound and change the bandage on his leg, which causes him so much pain. Soon after, Tammy discovers that they're running low on water. When she also counts the cans of food they still have, she sees that it's not enough. Seeing as the food will not be enough to last them until they reach Hawaii, Richard tells her that she might need to catch some fish to add to what they have. Tammy says she's not going to do that because she's vegetarian and doesn't want the fish to suffer. Richard manages to eventually convince her, and she goes into the water in search of a fish. She finds one but struggles to kill it, and Richard has to keep encouraging her to get at least one fish. After several attempts, Tammy gives up and says she just can't do it. That night, rain falls, 
and she looks really happy as she's able to store some water and also give Richard some to drink. A few days later, while checking the boat thoroughly, she finds a box of drinks and looks excited as she tells Richard that they'll be having a party. After enjoying the drink together, Tammy starts to sing. Just as she does, Richard says he wishes she had never met him so she wouldn't be in the mess she's currently in. Tammy, however, says she wouldn't trade what they have for anything. She then remembers the night he sang to her, which was also when he proposed and gave her a ring. When she gets back to reality, she sees the bright light of a ship heading toward them. Tammy immediately looks for her flare gun and shoots it to get their attention. However, the ship just passes them and Tammy cannot believe this. She soon figures out that she was hallucinating and there was no ship. This makes her cry as she continues to shout that they'll die in the middle of nowhere. In the morning, she takes a look at Richard's injured leg and sees that the injury has now spread. She wakes him up to drink some water, and even though he tells her not to give him any food, as she needs it more, but she feeds him with some while she also eats the rest. He then says he needs to sleep, and she can wake him as soon as they reach Hawaii, though Tammy disagrees and tries to keep him awake. On day 33 of being adrift, Tammy admires the red color of the sky and tells Richard to also take a look. However, he tells her that it's not a good sign as it means another storm is coming. Tammy looks scared and starts lowering the sails. She also sees that Richard's body is burning up and tells him she'll build a shelter for them to hide from the storm. The storm warning only turns out to only be a scare and nothing happens. Tammy then tells Richard a story of her father just so that he can stay awake. She tells him about how her father always came to visit her while she was at her grandparents' house, where she was raised. She says he would always come and then leave without saying goodbye until her grandparents stopped him from seeing her. Because of this, he would get really angry and also fight with them any time he came around. Tammy says each time it happened, she would hide in the bathroom and cover herself up, after which she would close her eyes and picture herself somewhere else. She tells Richard they can do the same thing and close their eyes to dream of being somewhere else. As she closes her eyes, she remembers the night of the storm that damaged the boat. The authorities continued to announce that the storm was now a Category 4, and if anyone was out on the ocean, they needed to get to safety. However, it's too late for Tammy and Richard, whose boat gets hit by the storm. They continue to struggle with keeping the boat steady, and soon after, when Richard sees that things are about to get worse, he asks Tammy to go into the cabin. She says she's not going to leave without him, but he says she needs to. Tammy remains scared for his safety, but just as a huge wave is about to hit them, he asks her to go in, and she does so. While making her way inside, she tells Richard to use his safety harness, but it's too late. The wave hits the boat, and it capsizes, with Tammy getting knocked around inside the cabin, while Richard falls off the boat and gets hit by the boat's mast, which knocks him out. As he doesn't have the safety harness on him, he falls deep into the ocean and dies. It then turns out that Richard actually died on that day, and Tammy has only been hallucinating. From the moment she saw the dinghy, Richard was not there, and she had only pictured him to be there. Tammy also appears to be aware that she's alone. As she opens her eyes, she mentions that she now has to let Richard go. Just then, she appears to be the only one on the boat. On day 41 of being adrift, Tammy sees a bird land on the boat. She looks shocked to see it, but soon realizes that she's now getting closer to the shore. She also sees a boat not far away from her and uses the flare gun to get the crew's attention. The ship soon comes close to her, and she finally gets help, with the men on the ship giving her some food. Tammy makes it back to land, and a few days after she recovers, she goes back to Richard's boat. As she takes a look at the pictures on the wall, she reminisces on the time she spent with Richard, which then makes her cry. From there, she takes a walk to the ocean while wearing the dress Richard gave her. After staring at the waves for a while, she drops a flower inside and watches as the current carries it away. Thanks for tuning in. A thumbs up would be amazing because I've got some bills to pay. Oh,